pass it over to uh, Pastor Beata. Uh, over to you. Amen. Thank you once again, even for this time. Today, I just thought we pray against the, the spirit of slumber. Amen. Amen. Against the spirit of slumber as we go into the presence of God today so that we can be awakened even in our lives. There's some prayer points there that I posted this morning. I know we might not be able to go through all of them, but whatever ones that you you'll be able to, you can continue praying in your own time. So I'll just pick specific ones. Amen. Amen. First of all, I just want to read in the book of Matthew chapter 13 and verse 25. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 25 the, the Matthew chapter 13 and verse 25, the Bible reads, the Bible reads that, uh, but while men slept, his enemy came and he sowed tears among the wheat and went his way. Amen. So it says, so while men slept, he says that the enemy came and sowed, te and sowed tears and then he went away so so many times we've been asleep the church has been asleep and the enemy has come in and they have sown tears there are times when we're meant to be awake but we have found ourselves being asleep so that's why i thought today we pray against the spirit of slumber amen so when we're talking about sleeping we're not talking about physical sleeping you can sleep physically and refuse to wake up for for prayer or refuse to wake up to do other things but also i'm talking about spiritual slumber today that we shall raise rise up from spiritual slumber mm -hmm. so i just wrote something to say that spiritual slumber is a situation where the believer is weak so when he's talking about sleep he's talking about slumber he's talking about you as a believer being weak you as a believer being weary or you as a believer being worn out and what are the what, what is the evidence of that or what can be shown in those situations so when you get to a point whereby you feel lazy to pray or you feel lazy to fast even lazy to engage in prayer amen so it shows that you are in a in a slumber state even to engage in studying the word of god so which means you are in a state of slumber when you find the things of god boring for you either boring to participate in any church activities but you desire to do other things the things of the flesh they attract you more like i i, I was telling i always tell people said when the church is praying and fasting be part of it the Bible talks about David. He says that he says that David tarried. It was a time of war. It was a time for kings to go to war. In his position, he had to go to war, but he tarried. And because he tarried, he ended up, he was in a place of slumber. In a place of slumber, he ended up sinning because there's something that God does when we are together. Amen. Amen. There's Amen. something God does when we are together like this. You might say, okay, I'm going to pray i know we got we got other things like work and stuff but if you are available please i beg of you by the message of god these 21 days make time to find yourself here the certain things that god does as an individual the certain thing that god does as a group collectively correct co 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 corporately if god releases a blessing he will release a blessing on all of us so that all of us we shall testify he's not just going to release one blessing here one blessing there so please i beg of you do not be left behind amen in this amen. time of prayer and fasting when it's a time of battle you're supposed to be in war right now you're supposed to be in the battlefield then you decide to take a step back this is not a time to take a step back during this time please join no matter what even if you can just listen in just listen in even if we can't see you just listen in because we god is doing something at a time when everybody was going for war him he remained behind he, and and that and, and it had consequences not only on him but on the entire generation of his family 
everything just pattern after pattern repeating itself so i beg of each and every one of you if it's time to pray and fast for the church be found in the place of prayer whatever the church is doing please be found there in this year amen because amen. it's not about it's not about you it's about the church that's why we are coming here together otherwise we could have decided to say we are going to pray in our own house the uh, the the, the kandawires as there but there's something that god does collectively and i believe that what god is going to do this year is going to be a collective thing amen it's amen. not going to be this family and that family or peri bar warwick or kiss Creek. what god is going to do this year i believe but uh, uh, let, uh, reverend let us talk about the separation let the separation happen collectively that each and every one of us shall be involved amen amen, amen. amen. so today we are praying again a slumber to slumber is either to sleep lightly or when you doze off the moment you doze off something happens or to be in a state of negli negligence where you just neglect the you just neglect the fellowship you neglect the fellowship with the believers for reasons best known for yourself you neglect your responsibility as part of the fellowship because each and every one of us we have a responsibility if i see sister sister if i see minister get to there it brightens my spirit because she has a responsibility because she is there it is a state of lying dormant so when we are being dormant so what does it mean to wake up it means to be aroused to become aroused from our sleep to rise up from our sleep to rise to be aroused from every inactivity in our lives today or to become conscious and aware of what is happening around you and that's why we're doing it collectively when we are like this we are conscious and aware of what is happening around us at a church what is coming towards us as a church what is bringing us down as the church what is what is attacking individuals as a church because god is doing something collectively so collectively today we are going to rise up from our spirit of slumber even as we go into the presence of god today i want us to take the first prayer item we are going to pray the bible tells us in ephesians chapter 5 verse 14 ephesians chapter 5 verse 14 amen Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14 the Bible reads in Ephesians 5 14 it says wherefore he saith awake you that sleepeth and arise from the dead and Christ shall give you light amen we shall have clarity when we rise up from slumber we shall have a clear direction we shall have focus when we rise up from slumber so today I want us to go before the Lord today we are going to pray for a spiritual awakening let there be a spiritual awakening in every area of our lives we are rising up from slumber amen. whatever area of your life has gone to sleep right now yes, due to circumstances beyond your control due to circumstances within your power due to certain things that you do you known or unknown today we are praying for an awakening of our spirits amen because it's a spirit man that communicates with god so let's just go before the lord today and we are going to pray for a spiritual awakening amen hallelujah, hallelujah. father we just want to come before you today in the mighty name of jesus christ father we come before you and we are praying against the spirit of slumber in the mighty name of jesus christ today father god we are coming and we are speaking to our souls and we are saying awake 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 in the mighty name of jesus awake right now in the mighty name of jesus we are praying for an awakening an awakening in our spirits an awakening in our minds an awakening in our bodies and our awakening in our soul in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are praying for an awakening in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are praying for an awakening in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be an awakening, an awakening in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh yes, oh yes, we wake, we wake up. We awake from every spiritual slumber, every 
number that has hit our hearts. We awaken for it. Where the enemy has come in, we awaken, we awaken in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak to our souls, we speak to our souls right now to arise, to arise, to arise. In the name of Jesus, we speak to our souls right now to arise. In the mighty name of Jesus, we speak to our souls right now to arise from every form of spiritual slumber in our lives right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we speak to our souls to arise from every spiritual slumber. In the name of Jesus, to arise from every spiritual slumber. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh, arise, 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 you who sleepeth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, awake, awake from your sleep. In the name of Jesus, call your name out, call your name out, and call yourself out. Beata, awake, awake from your sleep. Beata, awake from your slumber. In the mighty name name of Jesus, begin to speak to yourself, your children, awake, Shekinah, awake from your slumber, Eliezer, awake from your slumber, in the name of Jesus, every member of Warwick Church, awake, awake and arise from your slumber, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every state that you have sleep, slept, may you arise, in the name of Jesus, arise from every form of inactivity, every form of inactivity, activity in the body of Christ, spiritually and physically, we are praying today in the name of Jesus may you arise from any form of inactivity may you be aroused in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh yes we pray for an awakening, a spiritual awareness, a spiritual awareness in the name of Jesus, a spiritual awakening right now, in the name of Jesus, we are praying for spiritual awareness in our lives today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise and glory. We honor you, Jehovah God. We awake from slumber. We awake from slumber. Awake from slumber. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, you Jesus. Jesus is mighty name. Rama Seterian Darabasaya. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ora Kata Seterian Darabasaya. Ora Masheterian Dababa. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus is mighty name. Jesus is mighty name. We have prayed. Wow, wow, wow. While we are on that point of praying for an awakening, let us go before the Lord and we are going to lay aside every every deed. The Bible says that lay aside everything that has been heavy and that you are carrying so that you can, we can you can run with endurance we can't run with endurance right now because there are so many things so we are going to pray in the beginning i put certain things of being weak and worn out and weary being lazy to pray or to fast to engage so we are going to pray for forgiveness we're going to confess all those things father today we confess wherever we've been lazy to pray father today we are confessing. Pray for your forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to confess. You know what area in your life you have, you have been sleeping? What area in your life has caused you to slumber? I want us to go before the Lord today and we are going to lay it down as it is at the cross of Calvary so we can find healing, so we can find deliverance, so we can run with endurance, so we can be let loose in the name of Jesus, so we can drop down our God in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh yes, Lord, every area where we be weak, Father, we pray for forgiveness. May you strengthen us. Every area where we be weary, may you strengthen us in the mighty name of Jesus where we be worn out, burn out. We are praying, Jehovah God, release fresh oil upon our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every area of our lives 
where we've been too lazy to pray. Father, I pray for forgiveness. Where well, I haven't woken up, I'm so lazy. I haven't been late enough. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, today we want to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for forgiveness of God. Areas of my life where I have failed to pray and fast. Areas of my life where I failed to engage in the body, the study of the word, where I failed to read the word. I don't have time for the word of God. I don't have.